President Francois Hollande has gone to Beijing on a mission to revive France's economic fortunes. He agreed with Chinese President Xi Jinping to turn a new chapter in their country's nuclear relationship. They agreed French and Chinese scientists would cooperate in researching nuclear reactors and fuel. France's state-owned company Areva signed a contract with the China National Nuclear Corporation. French engineers will help their counterparts build a reprocessing plant for spent nuclear fuel. Chinese leaders have tried to cut the country's dependence on coal in an effort to reduce the air pollution. They're reportedly planning to increase the number of reactors from 17 to more than 80 by the year 2020. The French hope to sell them their nuclear technology to make up for the drop in demand after the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. Japanese firms are getting ready to re-enter the international market for nuclear power plants. They held back from promoting their technology for two years after the accident in Fukushima. Now Japanese leaders are getting ready to sign deals with the representatives of two countries in the Middle East. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe will lead a delegation next week to Turkey and the United Arab Emirates. Managers at a group of Japanese and French firms are expecting an order to build a power plant in Turkey. Officials from Japan negotiated the terms for technical cooperation in the United Arab Emirates. Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshihide Suga says Japan's nuclear technology is some of the safest in the world. He says the Japanese should share that technology with other countries. Japan's Prime Minister is vowing to increase exports of nuclear power technology. Shinzo Abe says his country has learned lessons from the accident in Fukushima where workers are still struggling to control a damaged facility. He spoke in Turkey, the final stop on a four-nation foreign tour. Abe met in Ankara with Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan. They decided to work toward a proposed economic partnership agreement. The leaders reaffirmed their support for a deal that will see Japan supply nuclear technology to Turkey. Japanese businesses will be given priority in negotiations to build a nuclear plant for Turkey near the Black Sea. Japan has obligations to share with the world the lessons learned from the severe accident at Fukushima Daiichi and to contribute to enhancing the safety of nuclear energy. Prime Minister Abe reached a nuclear cooperation agreement earlier this week with the United Arab Emirates following a visit to Saudi Arabia. He says his foreign tour succeeded in transforming existing resource-oriented ties with Middle East countries. He knows they now cover a wide range of issues including economic cooperation, politics, security and culture. Abe says the potential of the Middle East region is indispensable for Japan's growth. A cargo ship carrying nuclear fuel is on its way to Japan from France. It's the first such shipment since the 2011 accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. And it's generating controversy, mostly because the outlook for the Japanese government's nuclear policy remains foggy. NHK World's Kaho Izumitani reports. Ships leave port in Cherbourg. France every day. But few of them set out under such tight surveillance. One vessel carrying nuclear fuel, known as MOX, left at midnight on Wednesday, headed for Japan. People gathered to protest the delivery. France is trying to force Japan to re-import some MOX in order to force the country to reopen uh, the, the nuclear plant that were shut down just after Fukushima. MOX mixes uranium with plutonium that has been extracted from spent nuclear fuel. Four power plants in Japan use MOX. But utilities in the country don't have the capacity to produce it. The first commercial plant to make the fuel is currently under construction and is expected to start operating in 2016. In the meantime, utilities have been shipping spent fuel abroad to foreign companies that can turn it into MOX. Among them is French energy firm Arriva. It has been waiting to send MOX fuel to Kansai Electric Power Company in central Japan. The shipment has been on hold since the 2011 accident in Fukushima. The facility that is supposed to use the fuel is currently offline 
along with every nuclear plant in the country except one. Industry regulators are still deciding whether other facilities should be allowed to go back online. For decades, Japan has been trying to set up a complete nuclear fuel cycle, but it's still waiting for a breakthrough. A spokesperson for Kansai Electric says the utility hoped to delay the MOX delivery, but Arriva said it couldn't wait any longer. The recycled fuel is on its way back, even though the utility can't use it. On top of that, the Japanese government hasn't finalized its nuclear policy. Japan has been trying to reuse all of its nuclear fuel, but no one has thought beyond that point yet. I believe Japan needs to become able to operate a complete nuclear fuel cycle, but it will take a lot of effort to achieve this goal. Following the Fukushima accident, Experts have been split on whether that goal is even attainable. The MOX shipment is expected to arrive in Japan in two months. But it's unclear when or even if it will be used to generate energy. Kaho Izumitani, NHK World, Tokyo.